At more than 200 sites throughout Minnesota, watershed professionals are taking the pulse of rivers. They're part of the Watershed Pollutant Load Monitoring Network. This network measures the amount of several pollutants traveling down Minnesota's major rivers and streams. Through intensive monitoring, this network measures and compares regional differences in water quality. The data also help determine long-term water quality trends. A wire weight gauge is a method used to collect the water level or stage of a stream. This program provides a tutorial on how to do that. Jim Pogarels is a hydrologist with the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources. He is on the Long Prairie River near Motley to show how to take this reading. I'm here today to show you how to take a wire weight reading. First thing you want to do is open up the wire weight gauge with the DNR master key. Once you have the box open, you may need to slide the check bar over. After you move the check bar over, you unwind the reel by moving the locking mechanism back. After you move the locking mechanism back, you unwind the wire weight down to the water surface till it just starts to skim the top. The left dial, or the small dial, is the water elevation in feet. The bigger dial is in hundredths. So the next thing you want to do is record your measurement. For this particular site, reel up, we'll get a better reading. So it looks like it's 5.24. And how to read this dial, here's our increments in feet, here is hundredths. So 0 0.21234, 0 0.24 hundredths. That is today's water surface elevation. Some things to keep in mind is the air range. If it's a windy day, um, you can have standing waves under the wire weight. If there's an upstream obstruction, there, it could be causing turbulence. So you'll want to include an air range, usually 0.01 to 0.04, um, or whatever it may be. Um, if, if it's really windy, you'll want to get an average water surface elevation. You do that by winding down to the lowest elevation and up to the top of the water surface to get your average. So in other words, you'll want to try to capture the high point of the wave and the low part of the wave to get your average. Mm -hmm. On some of the reels, the foot counter may not roll over to the next whole number. In this case, you'll want to watch to make sure that you're recording the right foot increment. Remember this measurement is in tenths of a foot, not inches. Um, another thing to remember is it might be helpful to check this reading with the logger in the gauge house. These readings will become part of an extensive database of water quality across Minnesota. Through this network, the MPCA, Metropolitan Council Environmental Services, and local partners collect water quality samples from major rivers. These specialists then compute stream pollutant loads by coupling sampling data with discharge data from the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources and United States Geological Survey. This monitoring work is funded by the Clean Water Land and Legacy Amendment. The MPCA coordinates and oversees this network of professionals from state agencies, local governments, and watershed groups.